we continue our reading of God's Dream for You, The Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, September 27. The Divine Passive For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because the Lord will make a short work upon the earth. Romans 9.28 My friend Ranko Stavanovic, in his commentary on Revelation, introduced me to the second uncommon phrase that is reflected in yesterday's text. Isaiah 60, 22. Phrase 2. Divine Passive. You remember that a passive verb is a verb that acts back on the subject. I hit the ball. That's active. I was hit by the ball. That's passive. The Hebrew divine passive is a grammatical device in which, when no actor is delineated in a sentence, the action of the passive verb is understood to be accomplished by God himself. Genesis 2.1 reads, Thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished. Were finished is a passive verb that reflects back on the subject, the heavens and the earth. Though we're not told who did the finishing, it certainly is understood that, in fact, God did. When Jesus cried out on the cross, It is finished, John 19.30, we are not told who did the finishing, but the passive there in the Greek, suggests once again that God himself completed the action. But why all this grammar technicality? Consider another familiar text that suddenly radiates with hope when we factor in the divine passive. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world, and then the end will come. Matthew 24 14. The verb, will be preached, is passive. But why the passive here? In giving this sign of his second coming, Jesus could very clearly have declared, And you shall preach, active, the gospel in all the world. But he didn't. Instead, he chose a passive verb, without any actor delineated for the action described. And what does the divine passive signify? That the action will ultimately be accomplished by God himself, which is precisely what Isaiah 60, 22 declares. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. Today's text announces the same. God himself will finish the work and cut it short. No wonder a century ago this prediction was made, quote, let me tell you that the Lord will work in this last work in a manner very much out of the common order of things. God will use ways and means by which it will be seen that he is taking the reins into his own hands. Testimonies to Ministers, page 300. Yes, geometric progression means that mathematically our mission is doable, but factor in the divine passive and suddenly we are confronted with the stunning truth that God himself completes it. All he asks is that we share his mission until it is finished. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the Chosen.